Hello everyone, my name is Hartley, and this is my friend Hallie. We're super excited to be here for your school's Jump Rope for Heart kickoff. Thank you all for joining us. Is everyone as excited as we are for your kickoff event? Great! Let's start with some easy ways to protect our heart and brain health. By being active and eating healthy foods? Yes! Wait, did you look at my notes? I have my own notes! I needed notes because eating healthy can be tricky. For example, should you choose water or orange juice more often? Water? That's right! Water can keep you hydrated and replace the fluid you lose throughout the day. Plus, did you know orange juice doesn't have all the same nutrition as eating an orange? One cup of juice also has about 5.5 teaspoons of sugar. Wow! Almost the maximum recommended amount for kids for the whole day. Guess how many teaspoons of sugar are in a glass of water? Zero? That's right! So when you're thirsty, choose water. Make it fun by adding frozen berries or colored ice cubes. I'm suddenly really thirsty. Me too! I feel good already! Of course! Jump Rope for Heart is an excellent way to learn fun, easy ways to get active and be heart healthy while raising awareness and support heart and stroke. That's what Jump is all about. Let's get this party started! Time to pass you all over to our friends Alex and Megan from Heart and Stroke. Have fun! Hello everyone, my name is Alex. And I'm Megan. We're here from Heart and Stroke where we work to keep hearts and brains healthy. We're so excited to be here for your school's Jump Rope for Heart kickoff. Jump Rope for Heart is a great way for students like you to protect your heart and brain health, help save lives, and have more fun at school. The first reason why we jump is to protect our hearts and brains. It's not just muscles that get a great workout for being active. Your heart and your brain do too. Jumping rope is a great exercise because it gets our bodies moving inside and out. You're being the ultimate health hero when you jump around or move your body in other ways. Your heart is pumping all the time, every minute of the day and night. You can never take a break because it has a very important job. Your heart moves blood through your body. Blood carries the oxygen and nutrients we need to grow, exercise, learn, and play. Make a fist and hold it up in the air. This is about the size of your heart. Isn't that cool? Such a small engine keeps your entire body going. That's why we need to do everything we can to keep it in good shape. We aren't moving very much right now, so our hearts are beating slowly. You can feel your heart beat by making a peace sign with the fingers on your right hand, pretending to glue them together like this, and placing them gently on the left side of your throat. Be still for a moment, and you'll start to feel something bumping around in there. What you're feeling is your heartbeat or what doctors call your pulse. It's the feeling of your heart pumping to move blood throughout your body. Now, let's get moving everyone. When I say go, try moving your body as much and as fast as you can while staying in your seat. Our goal is to keep it moving for 10 seconds straight. Ready, set, go. 10, nine. Come on, let's move eight, it. Eight, seven. Faster, faster. Six, five, Halfway. four, Three, Can you go faster? Two, one. Way to go. Now, freeze and feel your heartbeat again using the two fingers we showed you before. Can you feel it? Your heart is beating so much stronger now that you got your body moving. But it's not just our bodies that blood is delivered to. It's our brain too. This is important because our brain controls every part of our body. By sending special messages to our body, the brain is what tells our eyes to blink, our lungs to breathe, and our feet to jump. Exercising and pumping blood to our brain helps us learn new things and even be happier. Protecting your heart and brain is as easy as knowing and practicing these four easy, healthy habits every day. E is for eat fruits and vegetables. Remember to eat a rainbow of fruits and veggies every day. Filling half your plate with fruits and vegetables helps keep your body healthy and your tummy fuller for longer. A is for active for one hour or more. This is why we jump and move around on your event day. The faster you move your body, the faster your heart pumps to power up your brain and muscles with blood and oxygen. S is for screens, for less than two hours a day. Fundraising online is fun, 
But most of your free time should be spent being active, away from TVs and computers and cell phones. The best way to make sure that you're spending time away from screens is to go outside and play games with your friends, like tag, hopscotch, capture the flag, and jump rope, of course. Y is for yes to water and no to sugary drinks. Did you know half of your body, including your heart and brain, is made of water? So make sure you drink enough to fuel it. Making water our drink of choice protects us from the sneaky sugars and so many other drinks. Use a refillable water bottle at school to help you stay hydrated. These habits are easy to remember because together they spell out easy. This year in Jump Rope for Heart, we're doing something new that we haven't tried before with Easy Healthy Habits. When you go online to join your school for Jump, you'll be asked to pick your favorite healthy habit. You can pick the habit that's the most fun, or you can pick the one that's the biggest challenge. I dare the brave ones out there to pick the toughest habit. Ready? Give me a thumbs up if you know what your favorite healthy habit is. Way to go. You're ready to count your healthy habit streak online and blast off to a healthy future. Thanks, Alex and Megan. That was fun. And guess what, Hartley? The easy healthy habits also keep your mind healthy too. Too much stress and worry can be unhealthy for our bodies and hearts. Do you know some ways to help us feel less stressed? I sure do. Try taking slow, deep breaths until you feel your body relax. Remember to stretch your body. Share your thoughts and feelings with someone you love. Talking about your worries can help you understand them. And most important of all is a good sleep to recharge your body and your mind. Let's all try taking a deep breath together. Ah, I feel so much more relaxed already. Now I'm ready to get started on my healthy habit. Me too. My healthy habit is eating vegetables and fruits. I'm going to add carrots or cucumbers to my lunch every day. I'm going to be active for at least one hour a day by playing new games outside, like jump rope. I have a fun idea. I challenge you. Starting today, I will count my healthy habit streak online, and you count yours. And on event day, we will see who has the longest streak. Challenge accepted. Hey friends, join myself and Hartley in this challenge and we'll see how we all do. Here's Megan and Alex to show us how to count our streak online. Are you ready to see how you can count your streak this year? Just ask a parent or guardian for help and go to jumproperheart.ca to join your school. You'll get to pick your favorite easy healthy habit and count your streak on every day that you log in and practice. Everyone you share your fundraising page with will see how many days you've counted towards your healthy habit streak. Thanks, Megan and Alex. We now know how Jump Rope for Heart helps protect your heart and brain health. Participation in Jump also helps heart and stroke save lives. Let's hear from Megan and Alex about how the difference our fundraising makes. Heart and Stroke is a charity that works to keep people's hearts and brains healthy at every age. Being a charity means that we raise money or fundraise to help us do our work. When you fundraise for Jump Rope for Heart, you are helping Heart and Stroke save lives because we work with doctors who are learning new ways to treat serious heart and brain problems. Every year, students in schools like yours help Heart and Stroke by collecting donations through Jump Rope for Heart to help kids like these. Hi, hello, this is Dani. This is okay. So Dani was born with a congenital heart disease, which was unexpected. Uh, and she had to have uh, several medications to help his uh, heart to uh, beat as normal. And uh, it was uh, fed um, by a tube in his nose from his stomach. Uh, and when it was five months, he had to have a surgery in his heart here and it was uh, fully recovered uh, after that is uh, all healthy now um, and we really love jump because it's all about a healthy lifestyle healthy habits and this is very important to us when i was five years old i had a cardiac arrest my sister saved saved my life by doing cpr my name is Jamie. I'm nine years old. I had a heart surgery when I was six weeks old. 
I and now I live a happy, normal life. I go see the doctors every three months. Uh, I take a medication every night to check my blood pressure. I love Taekwondo. Heart and Stroke also save lives with help from students just like you. In Jump Rope for Heart, we teach you the fast signs of stroke because we know that heroes come in all ages and sizes. I want to introduce you to Max. Some of you may have already met him. After learning about the fast signs of stroke at his jump kickoff assembly, Max used them to save his dad's life. Take a look. 911, what is your emergency? Can you lift both arms above your head? Yep. Do any of them feel lower than the other? My left, my left one feels really weak. Okay, and can you say the early bird catches the worm? Can you do the phone for a second? Now, Dad, lift your both of your arms up for as long as you can. Okay, good. Okay, can you smile away to this? Okay, so he's kind of having a, kind of having a stroke. How does he know to do all that? Uh, My name is Maxwell Scott Pozo. I am eight years old. He grabbed a glass cup, right side just too easy, left side he couldn't even lift it. And then I realized, well, okay, my dad's probably, I think it's more serious than I thought. I remembered all those things a couple days ago from Jump Rope for Heart, so that's when I decided it's a stroke. F, it stands for face. So if one side's up or one side's down, that's an indicator of a stroke. A, if one arm can stay up longer than the other, that's a sign of a stroke as well. S, speech, if it's mumbling. And now, T, listen carefully and remember this always. T is for time of calling 911. How awesome was Max's story? This is why we participate in JUMP and why we fundraise. To protect heart and brain health and to help heart and stroke save lives. But how do we fundraise for JUMP? Fundraising online is the best and easiest way to start saving lives. With your parent or guardian's permission, you can visit the website jumpropeforheart.ca. Here, you can click Join Your School to make your own fundraising page and start emailing family and friends to ask for donations. Some of the best reasons to fundraise online are you can count your easy streak when you log in. You can ask family and friends who live far away for donations. You can set up a personal fundraising page and earn virtual badges with ideas for being active and healthy. Not only is fundraising a great way to help others, you can earn awesome prizes as a thank you from Heart and Stroke. Indigo and Amazon gift cards? I love books! Me too! And so many fun things at Toys R Us and Walmart! A new bike could help me stay active! And I can manage my worries by writing in my new journal! This is amazing! I hope you're all going to join me and practice healthy habits and start fundraising. And do you guys know the third reason why we jump? I think I heard fun! Yes! Jumping rope and getting active on event day and coming together to practice skipping skills and other simple activities is always a blast! And all that fun keeps our heart and brain healthy! Now everyone, don't forget our challenge. Pick your healthy habit and count your healthy habit streak online. Hartley, you still up for the challenge? I am ready. Friends, are you ready? We'll see you all on event day. Let's see who has the longest healthy habit streak. Have fun on your event day and have fun being healthy and helping others along the way.